So it's Farm Nick. Welcome back to the Farming Tournament Episode 8 on Honeydew Farms. Well guys, I'm sorry that there hasn't been some videos lately and my schedule and everything has kind of been messed up and stuff. I really, really guys apologize about that. Is There's been lots of snow around here. The weather's been really uh, crappy and it's been hard to get a video out to the channel to get it uploaded there and then have it on private and then eventually I'll post it. So we finally got there. Um, I finally got some videos back up there. I do apologize, guys. I'm trying my best right now, but right now I'm going to record a ton of videos again. Um, we got about two feet of snow. I didn't get no footage of any of that stuff going. Just because I was so busy at, like, first thing in the morning, 1 a.m. or so, I was up start blowing snow and, you know, messing around. It's just I got really busy, and I didn't get time to take my GoPro with me, and I don't even know if my GoPro was even charged. So I was just going, like, boom 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 getting stuff ready to go and I had to leave I didn't even think about it until the last second I got into the the skid steer or whatever and I was like ah shucks I forgot my uh, GoPro and it's kind of hard to run a skid steer with one hand because you got to use two of your hands to run one of the skid steers it's not one of those newer ones how you can just run it you can set it up to run with one hand no so we're down here in front, uh, field 7 here planting what are we planting? Corn. We're going to plant sugar beets on the edge of, you know, field five over here. We're going to show you guys. So this bit of edge right here, we're going to plant this all in uh, sugar beets. And then we're going to put all this. I'm not sure what we're going to put in here, but we already got going in here is we got sunflowers going in there, planting corn. That was canola that they just harvested again. We've nailed that in right behind the combines. And then that was already wheat. So we got to get that done. Uh, working on a mission up here in field 19. It's just about done. Oh, I checked the progress on it. 19, 60%. So we're making money as we go on. Right now we're sitting at 1.9. We're going to hit $2 million shortly, guys. And also, if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, I am almost at 2,000 subscribers. So I really appreciate you guys. If you guys went over there and subscribed to me, help me out getting really close they're selling all the canola and crops but we will make that up here very shortly when we go over and get the mission done over there or they'll just keep selling but I bet uh, I'm not sure what they got so let's tell you who's all on here Minnie's on here master farmers on here CJ artist Jack Spencer TV master farmer or er, more farmer and Brett and I are all in the tournament right now so that's who's on at the moment. Yeah, so we're just giving her, playing the corn at five mile an hour. We're on a DB90 here. This tractor is a little bit underpowered by quite a bit. Um, I'd like to have the 8400R on here, but it's sitting in the grain cart, and I think they're using it to move grain around and stuff. So I'm not going to put it on here, but I'll probably switch it around and stick it on here for the next video. So we're just going to get our plant done. Um, we're going to get pigs down the road, so that's why we want to get the sugar beets going. Uh, we probably could buy pig food, but I don't know what's in them. So I'd have to look into that. But I'm just curious on what the pigs all need and what. I'm quite sure we're just going to have to wait until that time comes to see what they actually need. So there goes Brett with the green semi in the trailer there. Just hauling, hauling. We're just pulling up over on Master Farmers here. Uh, looks like they just finished up with the canola. Uh, we got we traded one of the combines off that had the most hours on, and we got a 9670 STS series combine. So I'm kind of happy about that one. Don't you worry, be lots of videos coming up to that one. CJ, get what did it say? Get your truck away from <laughs> driveway now. <laughs> He's getting salty over there, Minnie. Minnie's getting salty. Minnie, it's okay. Just calm down. He'll get her away. You know, so we got 21 head of cows going so far. More has been busy on that, and I've been busy just you know moving snow around. And yeah, um, we might do a couple of, uh, spreading manure here shortly. Uh, it looks like we can actually get out to the field and probably start spreading manure. I'll uh, probably won't be uh, spreading the actual manure, but I'll be messing around the barn. So I'll probably end up setting the GoPro up and uh, get some shots of uh, someone around the spreader for you guys. Get some footage of that, you know. Because there isn't going to be too much real life farm footage going out. So I want to get you something. Just so you guys can see what goes on around the farm. And yes, there will be a part two of the farm tour. But it is not going to come out until 
like June because that's when all the hay equipment comes out and everything else. So yeah, I put all the um, real life farming videos on my channel and Squad Farms here in a playlist. So if you strictly just want to watch all my real life videos over and over, uh, you guys can do that. It's called uh, Real Life Farming with Farmer Nick. You can also go check some different footage out that I'd never got to Squad Farms. Uh, right when I kind of really started doing YouTube, I got some footage of that. Kind of see how I did YouTube and you guys can see how much better uh, my quality has changed before using my cell phone and kind of just one mount that I'd kind of stick over the corner of the tractor cab and I just have it you can kind of see me in it and you can see the little bit of the implement in the back that's how I used to do it but now I actually got different mounts and everything for the GoPro so I can stick it out different cameras got two different GoPros going got a head mount I'm tempting to buy a drone so yeah we're just gonna keep planting this corn at five mile an hour. Hopefully we don't have to go and get some fertilizer because I really don't want to go get fertilizer. Because this is literally like the third time I've had to go fill this planter up here yet tonight. Because I've been doing lots of planting and everything. Just to get everything planted up. Oh, uh, they had sunflowers in this thing, in this field already it looks like it. But yeah, this DB90, it gets really dirty really quick. It kind of, it kind of sucks in a way, but this DB90 is the best American planter out there I'd say. So I can't really give them too much on it, but it's okay. It's better than using these little in-game ones. So I can deal with it. I just wish this DB90, someone will come out with a John Deere drill, of course, I'm hoping. Oh, they got a case drill out there right now, but I'm surprised they don't have it in here, honestly. For some of the people, it's more American drill. But someone will probably take it, and we will literally redo it, but change everything from, what is it, gray and red to green and yellow might be a few black things on it but that's probably what's gonna happen and this server's probably lagging a bit too guys um, they've been we've been having a little bit of troubles here uh, this is after one of Spencer's potato harvesting live streams that we've had some problems he's had some problems with it and server has been lagging here too so we got lots of stuff going on so you got a pig barn over there it looks like cow barn horse probably you know we might honestly get some sheep going first probably wouldn't be a bad idea why not right I'll have to talk to the boss and see what he says but probably get some sheep and some pigs going but I really honestly want to get everything going on the farm like I want to do everything on the farm that makes the most income on the farm I feel like would be better even though we're sitting at almost two million dollars so everyone I've been talking to, like, they've been always like, did you guys actually make that money? I was like, well, the only way to figure that out is just go watch the videos. So that's how we've been doing it. We've been just literally hammering missions down, taking all the missions so no one can have them. And that's the only way to stay ahead of everyone, right? We did the missions uh, ahead of time, so no one, before we even got to our crops, we're kind of a little bit behind, but in a way, we're okay. So probably tomorrow we're going to probably help out squad. Harvesting all his uh, stuff up there. I'm um, helping squad out too on his team and also helping more at the same time. So, we're kind of, I'm kind of on two teams, you know. We're all good. It's kind of fun. I like being on two different farms, you know, helping neighbors out. So, I'm kind of not really on a farm. I'm just kind of a farm hand, really. Whenever they need me, I go. But those are the two farms I really help out. Uh, we might do some live streams in here soon, shortly. Hopefully, I can get one of harvesting and might have to see what's going to happen. Squad and I are going to do a big, massive harvest, so just stay tuned on Squad's channel and see what happens. Or it might possibly own Squad Farms. Hard to say. Does so anybody know when GPS is coming out here? Because I really, really need it. I'm pretty sure everyone will want it. Almost lost all my game volume there for a minute, sounds like it. Let's give that guy a hard worker there for a minute. Uh what else is going on? What's more got? Seven R. What'd he buy? Oh he's got loading wagon. But I wonder what he's doing. I 
wonder. What are these guys all doing? Let's see what they're all doing over here. Putting heads on. Start this bad boy up. Brett's gonna throw a head on here for me and we'll uh, stick her over and put it in the shed. Alright, let's see how good Brett is. Think you can get her on the first try, guys? I don't know, maybe you guys have seen quite a bit of footage with Brett. There is some videos on this channel with Brett as well. Squad and Brett did quite a few videos together. Drop her, Brett. Should be gold. There you go. Awesome. So let's run over here. Uh, it's probably going to be a little, bit, a little bit laggy over here. You guys can see I'm rubber banding just a tad bit, you know. Uh, I'm not going to lose the head like uh, Ryler probably would. You know Ryler, he just... He'd probably just come around and he would just lose her in no time. So I guess we're probably going to be doing a little bit of organizing equipment. Just clean everything up a bit. Uh, let's drive up beside this pressure washer. Slow down. Braking. Sucks when you're lagging. Alright, let's wash this tractor up. I don't have developer tools or anything, so I can't really uh, fly. Uh, helper G has stopped. Where's Helper G? Oh, that's the planner. I think it was. Yeah. Hopefully Brett's on that, because I really don't want to go back out and play with that planner anymore. I've had enough I'd have had enough paint looking at it. That was weird. But yeah, you guys can see the paint's wearing off. I'm hopefully seeing I wanna see what happens to this bucket when it eventually all the paint wears off. Is the metal gonna wear out eventually? Is that a thing do you guys know of? That'd be kind of cool if it did, really. So this is the John Deere 45 FD head. Uh, this is in game if you guys are not do not have Farming Simulator 19 at all. Uh, yeah, I found some versatile tractors, so look forward to an upcoming video of them uh, pulling some stuff. I found some old uh, four wheel drive versatiles that I got for you guys. So I found them on Facebook, and they'll be coming up here shortly. So I wonder if Brett will. Uh, Bring me some more equipment and we'll just wash it up for him. I gotta get those tires nice and clean, you know, because I like to have everything clean. And I think more wants to. More will probably come through and he'll probably get the old wax paper out, you know. He'll probably end up waxing all the stuff. Alright, let's run over and. Hey, we hit two, two million dollars. I think about that for a minute. <laughs> All right, let's run this guy in here. Probably gonna have to grab the pickup truck. What's going on up here? Uh, where's the cop? I don't see a cop. Oh, I see it right there. See, it's in between Master and Mini and... Was that CJ getting pulled over, it looks like it? Probably. All right, let's see how strong I'm feeling today, guys. Think I can move this trailer where we want it? Oh! Well, yeah, we're really strong today. We're, we're, we're super strong. We're just going to bring this guy right there. Not really. Um, this is the heavy lift mod in here. So we can just pick stuff up. We'll leave that sitting there. Uh, let's get... I'd like to put my other uh, corn head on there, but I don't know where it is. So for the time being, we're just going to stick the two grain heads in here. And then the corn head's probably going to get mixed in here eventually. But it'd be alright. So we're going to leave these guys away from each other. Because I know when you get these guys really tight together, these corn heads and header trailers, they always want to stick together. And I have not got that figured out. As soon as like a little tad got on them, they're like stuck together forever. And it kind of really sucks. So it looks like someone's getting arrested over there. Combines are there. They're going to get cleaned up next. Might as well go out and grab that other head and get that in there so it doesn't get, you know, stuck together that someone else gets it in there and it gets stuck together. And then we have to hook different random trucks on and yank them all out. And it's such a pain in the butt. So let's back up to this other 45-foot uh, head with the 6M here. 6M's got almost 10 hours on the old girl. 6M's one of the main short tractors around this farm between this one and the 4850 I think it is or 4855 whatever the older tractor we got on the farm here is those are the mostly the two real big ones on the farm here that do a lot of the work 
So looks like they're in the middle of kind of organizing. And we kind of are too. I guess we're going to watch 6M up again. Bet they got like dirt on fast. Come here, Brett. I'll wash you up. No, he's going to go get the bailer. Awesome. Let's wait for Brett. Uh, well, they really are. I think it's like a $400 thousand. Four hundred thousand dollar fine if uh, you run from the cop or something. So that's not good. There was like I could not stop. Haha. Uh -huh. That's what they all say, you know. CJ, trying to get trying to get out of uh, getting arrested there. Oh, Brett's getting that one back there. Good. Thought I lost the head there for a minute. I was like, oh no. So we did add a few trees in here. I think Riley did all the kind of decoration trees and stuff. So he did an okay job, but even though we had to sell, I don't know how many trees we had to cut down and sell and get out of here, because he did not do pretty good at that stuff. I did the fence. I'll uh, commit my, I did my fence. So let's put this guy over here again. We'll get the two semis in here next. I can get over a foot. Ooh, that was looking a little close. There we go. There's two. The back could go over a little, but I don't really want to mess with these things and mess them up. Uh, 6M, we'll stick it in the shed for right now. So I think we're going to be kind of done for it right now. Yeah, you don't like me. We know it. Alright, what do they got going on with these semis here? We got to get this old girl washed up. Flip this bad boy out and kind of around here. Let's get these trailers washed up and stick these guys inside. Like, I don't think they've been inside since they uh, we used them once. They might have been inside for not too long, we'll say that much, but this truck has got some uh, mud on it for quite a while. Looks like everyone's getting a little salty over here. Lots of chat going on. I think it's kind of rare, but it's kind of late at night. It's about the time where all the kind of fun goes on, so maybe I should try and record more often this time of the night. We'll have to see. So we'll get this all cleaned up, maybe. Hopefully that weird texture line goes away. Yeah, I can still see the little bit of dirt down here. Yeah, you guys can see the dirt. There's that paint wear. I don't know. I think it's going away slowly but surely. Sorry about that, Brett. I did put it away. I do apologize, Brett. Yeah, it's the paint kind of wearing a bit. I think we should be able to clean this trailer up from just kind of staying here. Watch the map and see what goes on. So they're all having a little fight. I wonder if we should do a little drive-by and see what happens. But I don't think that's too good of an idea. Is that trailer just about clean? Sure. Oh, a little lag there. The back trailer needs some attention along with that truck. Yeah, we just drag it around. Hop through here, run back, get our pressure washer out again. Let's wash this uh, trailer up. Looks like a cow, no more cow. And we'll put her in the lean to shed over there, pull through where we put the heads in, and be all good. This trailer's probably going to take a few minutes to get all cleaned up nice. Clean yet? Almost. Almost clean. Two million dollars. They're gonna be all salty tomorrow when they come in. They're like, how'd you get two million dollars? Well, we just harvested the highest price of stuff and did lots of missions, guys. Tarp's all on. We got her. 
Alright, let's look through this field kind of and we gotta get it. The only way to go out in this field is when the semis are gonna be done, it's gonna be nice, so we're gonna come out able to come out way in this field. But eventually half of this field we might put back in grass or around the outside a foot or two. We'll have to see. I'm not sure what we're gonna do, but I think we might honestly leave it like this because I was talking to Warren, I was like, Warren, we really don't need all that grass all the time, right? The only reason why we're gonna need it, if we're gonna use it, is to make feed out of it. Like a lot of feed if we're getting low on feed. But we're not low on feed or no shortage of feed either. Let's drop those trailers. Let's go get the low boy and bring in here. Cause I know that is just sticked over there somewhere. Or got stuck over there somewhere. And then we'll clean up everything else. I think that's probably all we're gonna get to today. We'll go over a nice ramp. So we don't have to go under no more, we go over. So there's not too much to it. Farmyard's looking pretty clean. We'll get cleaned up and we'll get those sugar beets in the ground and probably work on planting the rest of the fields. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video so far, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and don't forget to go and check out Real Life Farming. And don't forget to go and check out my channel if you want to see some more uh, Farming Simulator 19 streams and anything else. Let me know by dropping it in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.